Wow! And it's just 10 years like that. At uh, AAP Development Foundation, we've done 10 years of massive help to humanity, to the old child, in particular. We started the Hidu Development Foundation about 10 years ago uh, in memory of my third daughter we lost in circumstances that were not so pleasant. The Hidu Development Foundation have been a community outreach for years now. And then we're doing a breast cancer awareness. It was a great experience. Visited Ubeji environment. The overriding ideology is the care of the girl child, the mothers, and we are focused on supporting them in terms of their health care, general well being, their education, you know, survival generally, and that is the focus of the Education Foundation. Our vision is to empower a million lives by 2030 through health education, screening, and support. The Hidu Foundation has been at the forefront of providing humanitarian services to the less privileged in society, particularly to the girl child. I remember the Hidu from the very, very beginning when it first started. And I mean, it's just natural that. You know, if God has been good to you, it's nice to also be blessed with other people. For the past few months, being here with the Yedu Development Foundation, I've been able to enlighten young minds about personal hygiene, the importance of personal hygiene. We've also been able to talk to, to educate um, young girls and boys about the about menstrual hygiene. As a volunteer in the Yedu Development Foundation, I remember my experience when we had to go to Clever Mind Educational Center. That was our first, um, first um, personal hygiene book tour. It was an amazing experience. We, we had to teach the children about personal hygiene. You could see the children, they were eager to learn, they listened and they were entertained too. We have run several programs in the last couple of years, programs that educate them in the importance of sex education and part of program for the girl child. We also have run career development programs for the male child and the program shows them the importance of uh, making the right choices for their career path. Our mission statement is to empower the girl child and women to live a healthy and fulfilled life. I believe, I believe the NGO is going a long way. We have done 10 years and uh, well now 5 to 10 years time have done more than what they've done before. I was told about the AP Foundation. I found somewhere I could share my heart. Everybody learns something from somebody. And what I've learned in life is that I received, and what I received, I want to share. With the Heidu Foundation, I found that I had the opportunity to spend my time, talent, and treasures with people, people that need support. We really had a lot of empathy and a lot of things to share from their own experiences, how they've helped their, their friends and siblings and that spoke a lot to me how what we are doing in Yeju is going is doing a lot in speaking to these young ones um, especially when it comes to the party girl telling them that menstruation is not just a woman's thing it's something that involves everybody and with this party girl program it's um, definitely going to give us better siblings 
better fathers that will know how to take care of their girl child. So we've held countless programs over the years on radio, television, on land and sea. We've held street campaigns and rallies. We've been to old people's home, IDP centers, we've been to orphanages and school programs, lots of school programs. It's been because of your support partner. We would love to do so much more with you, working with us, yes, and time to come. Uh, the next 10 years going forward, well, you, what we've done now is little. We hope to do far more than we've done uh, to lift more females out of, you know, uh, and they still define themselves and help more women to be better and to do much more in our society. So over the next 10 years, uh, we hope to be able to make an impact in reducing the burden of diseases like breast cancer and cervical cancer. Uh, breast cancer is the highest uh, killer of women in terms of the cancer burden, followed by cervical cancer. Over the next 10 years, we'll have educated so many uh, young girls as regards how to take care of themselves, prevent sexually transmitted diseases, so that the, the, the level of infertility in this region caused by sexually transmitted diseases will have also been reduced to the barest minimum.